everyone. Welcome to episode 13 of the Army Think Tank podcast. I am Jem. Jess. Gabby. <laughs> As you can uh, probably see and hear, we're extremely tired. Uh, it's been one heck of a week uh, since this, last this time. Week felt five years. Yeah. Yes, because last time we recorded was on Grammy Day, yeah. and you guys, you guys saw <laughs> our reaction. Yeah, do we want to talk about that? Uh, oh man, I'm I'm still like. I I think I like <laughs> I like went through the stages of grief. Yeah, we, we all have <laughs> except, except acceptance. Except acceptance. I went yeah. straight from acceptance to like Jim Pick Nam June. That's that was the escalation. <laughs> and for shirtless that. and shirtless Hobie Pick. <laughs> and shirtless Hobie. That's like I skipped acceptance and just went right into those things. Yeah. Um for most of the day after it was announced, we, uh, at least the Maple group chat, but most armies went into a streak of anger, of <laughs> anger uh, which I think was normal and yeah. deserved for the Recording Academy. <laughs> um charting their entire discography yes <laughs> u.s armies <laughs> Their, their whole discography um, and mm. even like maple army we went hard yeah we did <laughs> um i i love that uh just like started charting everywhere <laughs> me too <laughs> and the respect it was great yeah um yeah um okay it's here's been the a week <laughs> no, here, here, here's the thing um I I think I've over the years I've gotten pretty good at like getting like into my emotions. So like mm -hmm. when things like this happen, like I cannot. So like my first reaction was like shock. Like I was shocked for like thirty seconds because I look. I was looking at my computer screen. I was like, huh? Uh, in the <laughs> clip we we put in the last podcast episode, there's literally like two minutes of Jess just saying what and me saying what the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> um. So like I was like in shock, and then I know that er everybody just like went to like rage streaming, streaming. But like I listen, I I'm the type of person I need to fester in my emotions. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I had to like sit like <laughs> I had to sit and think about it for a good while yeah. because then I I it was like shock, and then I was just like mad. So then I sent out some pretty aggressive tweets to the recording. <laughs> um same <laughs> oh my yes, god so yes so that, I, I and had then one of my I, replied ghosts like semi-viral yeah, so like, and then likes. like, oh. like I, I was I checked like yesterday, I'm I, 1.8k oh my god i did cry i did yeah um and i feel like i had gotten like most of my emotions sort of kind of out but the thing that i think perpetuated my anger was the actual show because i had had they performed like beginning or middle, middle. i like like it was I announced the, i don't think the reaction would have been as as bad as it was mm -hmm. because at that it was just like okay now you're just exploiting them and now you're just holding us hostage for the ratings of your show because if if they didn't win they didn't win fine yeah but you keep them till the end of the whole show not even to the end you make them go one before last yeah. and i'm just sat here like what are what are we supposed to do with this information like g genuinely tell me because it's it just seemed very like I don't know. It 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 seemed purposeful. Number one, because y'all know the kind of ratings that beats that just yeah. gets until you well, want to do in that the, because the, in the pre show, show when we left, N not even that. But here's here's mine, right? I'm just like they use. I and I sat to like think about this because I had to like write my feelings down because I was so perturbed and I was so upset, mm -hmm. like they used them like interviews like it was like marketing you were like pimping them out to everybody bts bts and then i'm just like 
I'm shocked. <laughs> I was literally like, what is what is going on here? Um, so that was one. BTS better than me, because I would have tell everybody and oh. they <laughs> I would have tell everybody and their mama where they can where they can shove it, but um, there's that I guess. And the thing is, like the more articles that come out about this, so allegedly they wanted them to come to LA, and so remember the whole like stage that BTS built yeah. for like James Corden, right? Mm-hmm. Apparently, I was reading, and it was literally like BTS just did it because they wanted to, and then the grab the recording account asked them to recreate the the Grammy stage. So they do all of that work and then y'all still apparently like the the whole thing was only finalized like a few days before the show because they wanted them to come to LA in a panoramic. I don't understand. Yeah. And then the host so, after the performance was like, oh they recreated the set because they wanted to be here but they like they couldn't and I was like shut the yeah i'm like that's the narrative you're going with (laughs) really i don't know i don't know um and honestly like trevor noah was just very unfunny oh my god it was just because i usually can tolerate trevor noah trevor noah was very he was very very unfunny the whole like segment with cardi b was just cringy it was yeah disgusting kind of so i don't know how uncomfortable she was like i i I, yeah i don't i don't know where we go from here and my last thing on this point and i have to say okay this is this is just my personal thought um it, it, throughout the week, it started to get a little bit personal, and I just wanted to tell people to shut the fuck up, because the way that people were moving, it was like BTS are the only artists in the history of forever to be nominated for Grammy and not get the Grammy that they were nominated for. Everybody just could not mind their fucking business. Yeah. Every- he was all up on army to it was just gr- i was like once again like bts is better than me because i would tell everybody and their mamas to go to, to mm, yeah go do something but like it just felt very like attackish for yeah. no goddamn reason right and it was it was at that point I was like, wow. Like, I had already known this, but I was like, wow. Like, BTS and ARMY, we ain't got nobody but each other. This is ridiculous. It was just very... Because I'm just like, where is this outrage for all of the other... Like, Ariana Grande is nominated for, like, 14 Grammys. She has two. Like, I think Beyonce is nominated for, like, was nominated, like, upwards of 80. Yeah. And she has, like, 28 of them. Well-deserved Miss, Miss Beyonce. Yeah. But it's just, like, so where is... To her. Yeah, and the thing... And my last point, I keep saying this, but the thing is, like, I'm. it's not even lost on me because, like, Beyonce has 28 Grammys, right? All of them... Well, not all. Most of them are in urban <laughs> R&B, traditional art. Beyonce doesn't have a Grammy for, like, um album of the year yet which is preposterous to me yeah, like yeah. it's just very like um where do we go from here i listen i will not be watching it Th- this was the first time that i stayed up to watch a grammy performance sorry i'm not doing it again no. <laughs> i'm not yeah. doing it again bts can catch me on the next day when i see the performance on the internet but it looks like big hit got beef with the recording academy too because their performance is nowhere to be found it's nowhere no i so, know that's the funniest yeah. part to me it was just like so you're gonna make them like do all this work and then yeah you're just gonna put them second to last which i agree like that spot is the most ridiculous thing i've ever seen in my life you made a point to say that they were gonna be in the middle of the show and then they're second to last are you kidding and then they kept saying coming next coming next i'm like stop lying jesus i was just like so so mad like just so angry from like the start until until the v live that they did for us which by the way like the fact that they had to come and like calm us down (laughs) and be like we're good we're okay i was like you're okay i'm not okay (laughs) here's here's the thing right um 
unlike K award shows, unlike Korean award shows, we know why they keep BTS till the end. Like they're like, yeah, we get like, it. We know yeah. why. Like they're the yeah. like the biggest. But at least they're entertaining. Last- like. <laughs> They're they're entertaining, but like on like Korean award shows, we know that BTS is going last, so we're just like, yeah, we'll just like sit and watch this, like it's entertaining yeah. or whatever. When they do it on like Western award shows, it's it's like a slap in the face. It's, yeah. it's it honestly is because we know why you're doing it, mm-hmm. but like I don't know, I don't know. Why? I yeah, I won't be watching this award show. I, no. I can't. I, I I won't do it. I can't. Um, I'll wait till like. I like, mean, there was a I'll lot of people online that were like, "Why? Why is this so important to you guys?" I'm like, "It's important to us armies because BTS wants it." Exactly. That's the only and- reason it's important to us. It's because they yeah, want okay. that award. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing, right? A lot of a lot of the times that um. It's easier for quote unquote Western artists to be like, fuck the Grammys, fuck the Grammys. And I honestly believe fuck the Grammys too, right? Uh But if you're approaching it, I I understand, because I can say fuck the Grammys too, but I understand that we've given a certain level of social capital to these awards. for like yeah. most artists, like it's a big thing to be like a Grammy win, even like Grammy nominated. It, it it's a big thing because we give it all of this. We give it all of this importance, right? And yeah. I understand yeah. the impact that it can have on somebody's career, and I also understand the impact that it can have on somebody who's not even from America. I understand the impact that it can have. Well, so it's not like it's not a rocket science to guess why they would want a Grammy. It's it, it's really not like I no. can talk all this shit about how the industry is so fucked up and whatever, but I understand. So like obviously if they want it, I'm going to want it for them. Mm. Um and it was also even more blatantly dis- they they won that. Listen, in my mind, no, they, they everybody did. knows everybody knows that that was bts award but um yeah i guess we'll be waiting until 2030 for a big hit to upload the grammy performance because they they have they haven't some it's so passive aggressive you know what in their own life they're being petty petty because they have not retweeted not one not one (laughs) and they didn't even tag him in the post they made i was like oh (laughs) They, they even like retweeted like a VMA um tweet yesterday or something, and I'm just like, okay, I see where this is yeah, going. Yeah, the VMA behind the scene came yeah, out. Yeah, the pettiness yeah, is yeah. just—it's on a new level that I'm here for. Yeah. And you know what? Like, I—I yeah. I respect it. I respect that point. I think the funniest like, thing to like come out of this was just like. The way that they were like, we need to calm Army down. So what are we gonna do? I'm pretty sure they had like a meeting with the seven of them, and Jim was like, okay, I'm gonna post like a really cute like selfie. That that'll work, right? Hours later, well, okay, that didn't work. Somebody post something else. Jk, do a really cute pose. Okay, all right, all right, I'll do it. Okay, um, it's not working. They're still mad. Um, okay, uh, uh Sugar, put some like inspirational stuff on there on Weverse. Okay, 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 let me go. Let me go do that. Okay. No, they're still fucking mad. They're still um, mad. They're crying. What do we do? What, what do we do? Nam June, hold my it was, it, I got it. Was, <laughs> and then Hobie no, right was, after was like, I'm following you, <laughs> my brethren. It was, it, was so, it was so funny because, like, uh, like my timeline is just full of like people like posting pictures about Nam June, which is like not good for my health, but like no. in other ways, it's very, very <laughs> beneficial. So like somebody to you, they were like, hmm, maybe if I act extra sad, Nam June will just take off the shirt. And I just, yeah, like, I I saw so this tweet. I'm sure you guys saw it. I was like, oh my god, I'm so sad. Where's the Calvin Klein shoot? <laughs> And I'm here for it because the immediate distraction was just like, wait, what were we talking about? And then we were, and then we, and it was uh, like, and why it was just really, really, because honestly, by like, so Grammys were on Sunday. By like mm-hmm. Tuesday, my TL was still kind of mad, but like everybody yeah. had like sort of just like gone past it, and it was just everybody else just like like coming from the woodworks, yeah, and just like I'm just like you're past this why are you see this is why bts is the main character because yeah. why are you celebrating their loss more than you're celebrating the your faves win celebrate cel- the people well, that you win like celebrate their win like what are you doing? the you fact that like after we started to calm down all that um 
anti-Asian racism can came back out like seemingly out of nowhere. What 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 the frick? <laughs> Uh, I don't. I, what the heck is wrong with people? I was uh, like, people are racist. That's what I'm yeah, like yeah. <laughs> well, I know that. <laughs> I yeah. Uh, ooh. Oh man, it's just like insane to me that people would be like, "Oh, all of this has been happening on the internet," and people would just like pin the two events together, like it's obviously connected. And I'm like, it is despicable in every like sense of the word. My French almost came out. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> almost went full French there. Yeah. Uh, didn't we just like went through this a couple weeks ago? Yeah, it, yeah. And then what? What is that company uh, called? Like Tops or something stupid? Ain't nobody know, ain't nobody know about them because they're relevant. I, they um, are irrelevant <laughs> yeah i had no I, I, I idea you, like, um, like they just came out of left field I was like who the fuck are you also like why <laughs> yeah why who That's approved that I'm just very, listen <laughs> i'm just very because apparently like because i it is very mind-boggling to me um certain things that people will will come i'm just okay i in my, um, okay, at the very least, right? You, your company can be racist. You can be racist. But I'm just thinking, at the very least, in terms of a business, I, if I'm just, if From you don't give a fuck standpoint. about, if you, if you don't give a fuck about people of color, any, I, I'm just any, anyways, right? I was awake when it came, when that image um mm. came out, right? Yep. And I had to sit, and I had to like. I had to, I really had to sit and think because I went through like a, a series of emotions and then I'm just like, who approved this? How, how did, did it get sure approved? Are, honestly, I'm pretty sure that there are several like stages that this has to go through in order to, to be approved. First yeah. of all, the person who the, for, I'm I'm gonna art shame. All of it was stupid and tacky. They looked ugly. All of them, even the ones not including yeah. BTS. Yes, 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 I I art shamed. It looked bad. It was bad. Um, but for you to like for you to like sit and like draw something like that and then be like, this is the one that's gonna knock them dead. I was very very perturbed and very very confused because in what world do you think that? And it, especially with everything that's going, but like take out everything that like that's going on now. Like let's just like focus on the present. In what world do you think depicting seven Korean men in that manner is acceptable in any form whatsoever? And then after that, and it, it was it was so the the turn of events was so jarring because like I was awake and I was scrolling through Twitter. It was like doom scrolling almost because I was yeah. scrolling through Twitter. And I was like, um, no. So I was scrolling. And then as I was scrolling, the shooting in, in Atlanta happened. And it was just like everything just like compounded into, into one thing. I'm like, how are you seeing the same news that I'm seeing? How are you? Because I'm pretty, these all these people do is like go through their social media mentions because mm -hmm. I know they were seeing that people were upset and they were seeing everything that was happening especially with the shooting in Atlanta how do you think that it's okay to not say anything is is my concern yeah um like you you did it you like stay stand in it you did it how do you and then to turn around and then say, oh, we're we're sorry that you're mad. If you all shut the fuck up, like we're sorry that you're Why mad. Why did you go to um apology this year? I, I don't even know. Why? I, I how? I don't know. Pourquoi? It's just I, I would have never thought what is it? Pop pop crush? Pop crave? I don't know what it is. I'm sorry. I'm not even trying uh, to be like funny or whatever. I genuinely it's a, Pop, pop, pop crush, crush. Or, <laughs> no, I want to get it. I want to get it right because yeah. they're the only. They're they're, they're the. I, I really want to get it right because, yeah. and it's so it's so it's so sad that like we've just come to 
<laughs> we've gotten to a place where when people apologize we're just like oh my god when it should be like the bare minimum if you right. do something wrong then just like apologize own um, up to it and, and apologize yeah and and yeah. understand yeah. like what you did wrong right like a lot of people are like i'm sorry which the word in itself doesn't mean anything unless you're actually going to change for the future or like do better mm. next time or learn from those mistakes like i'm sorry nowadays kind of to me like doesn't it's not enough it doesn't cut it i'm like show me that you're yeah you need sorry. to show me through your action that you're actually sorry because like you keep apologizing and it's just no empty words the empty words I and that i think that was only like wednesday or thursday when that, when that happened that was wednesday it was yeah Wednesday was not a good day at all. Just saying. And I, 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 I don't, I don't know. I have um, words. Um, I do yeah. want to say, like, oh gosh, the Atlanta shooting. I am devastated for all of those families. Like, I'm. Yeah, I'm keeping the families of the victims and in, in my heart and. I, I was gonna say my prayers, but I don't pray, but I'm sending good vibes. That's what I usually do. I, I, I don't even know what to say because I was like so sad. And then I watched the news conference and then I was mad again because of that stupid ass police chief. I was, so, see, I expected that. <laughs> I, I expected that and anytime a white man does something um I expect oh this is the first I'm time. not surprised just disappointed oh, yeah. I'm, I'm not even see I've passed the point of this I'm not even dis <laughs> like I'm just like oh this is business as usual yeah. um because that's, that's that's why I'm disappointed because it is business as usual yeah I like the police chief said that and I was just like so sounds about right um yeah. But if it was any other just, ethnicity, yeah, completely listen, different here, story. Here, here. Um, I think we need to, because people were debating whether or not this was a hate crime, because oh, it there was- There is no debate because to it have about this. Good. I think people need to read up on intersectionality because a lot of people were like, they don't think it's a hate crime, but but because it was against women but i'm like he specifically sought out women of color he specifically sought out asian women to attack so we need to learn about interse intersectionality where gender and race intersect and people can be racist and misogynist at the same, same time. time so um i believe i could be wrong but i think it was kimberly crenshaw who came up with the term of intersectionality mm. i will google that because i don't want to sound like i don't mm. want to sound stupid um, yeah people need to understand that she, normally people that has that kind of labels usually have more right. than one yeah I, I was right uh kimberly crenshaw uh, she's the one who came up with uh the concept of inter intersectionality where like different characteristics of identity intersect so when you have race religion um sexuality all of those intersect in order to like make a person right so like everybody's debating is this a hate is this like violence towards women or is it racism it's, it's both. both it can be it's both. both and it can yeah. be both at the same time it's Honestly, and it's yeah. often both at the same time. Exactly. It's and the like, fact that it was a debate, I'm like, why are we even having this debate in the first place? Is this really 2021 or did we set ourselves back a couple hundred years? I, 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 it's, it's 2021. 
it is i <laughs> it is um a, 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 lot, a lot of the times when people are surprised that these things happen i'm just like they've always been happening now yeah. we just have a phone and now we just have exposure and now yeah. it's 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 everywhere like something happens and in two seconds it's on social media and yeah. it's it's hyper visible you see it more but this shit, this shit has been going on forever um i mm-hmm. like it's it's a nice <laughs> Yeah, I just want to, like, I feel bad for the families and all of the victims involved. I know that there's, like, a couple of, like, GoFundMes uh, floating around. Yes. Um, if you can, well, we're, still in a pan- we're still in a pandemic, but if you can, um, donate to those. Um, and some, yeah. if you can, sometimes just sharing it helps. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Like, definitely, like tweeted or shared on your social medias yeah we have um the entire anti-asian violence resource link tree um in our description yes so that you can not only donate if you can but also educate yourself on what's happening i think it's really important especially for like someone like me and the white allies out there to like make sure that you're continuing to like promote and share the important stories and not drown out the importantness of these issues and it's important to sometimes just stop talking and just listen Listen. yeah listening is important go and educate yourself um i'm just i'm so heartbroken yeah yeah i can say on that yeah um so we went through the hard news first. <laughs> Always got to start with the difficult stuff. Uh, Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this week, the army census came out. The mm-hmm. results for mm-hmm. it came out. Yes. What a... God, I just... I just, I wish, love... I, I just wish I knew about it earlier. Oh, really? I did, yeah, I, I didn't know. I took it last year. Yeah, yeah I took I it last, last year. Um, I just because I because like, I would have because I would have done it. Yeah. Well, this is this is yeah. honestly it's really good that like a lot of people were like, oh, I didn't know this was happening because now for this year it'll be even more of a um, we'll get more information, which is always always great. Yeah. I am just so like yeah. impressed and amazed by Army. Like I was reading this whole, like the whole thing, and I was just like yo we're awesome you know what i mean (laughs) like i was just like damn like we're educated like even like the top 10 like career um list i was like engineering's on there computer science is on there like obviously the arts are on there i was just it's to me it's like it's just amazing the representation that's on there is actually amazing yeah yeah Mm -hmm. I just, it, mm. it's such a beautiful um, thing to, like, look at the diversity of ARMY and be, you know, because we're so criticized all the time for being, you know, these young girls who don't know anything about anything. <laughs> and I'm excited to do it next year. <laughs> yeah. I wish I knew about I- it earlier. I am a sucker for a good pie chart. Okay, mm-hmm. I I st- I think I've said this before, but like I study like politics in school, and the census is like a a big thing. I am a sucker for a good pie chart with mm-hmm. like numbers and data, right? <clears throat> So, like, so if we're talking in, like, a general sense, like, when you have the census of, like, a country, it's supposed to tell you, like, the demographic, um, age, um, composition, race I composition. I that there are um, 602 that answer that are over 60. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> like my mom! Yeah. So there's race <laughs> race composition age composition and basically it like you you're supposed to like say how many people live in your family socioeconomic status and why they do that is that it can it helps them to allocate the budget and um which uh funds go to which community based on the population right so i yeah I, like i like numbers and stuff like that right and why i think it's just, it that it's really important and it's really really cool to did this is that i actually have like the co because i wrote it down um it was a collaborative 
collaborative project uh, between our research BTS, Pangtan scholars with the promotional partners on Wings with Love and uh, Pangtan Ami uh, documentary team, right? Um, I think that it is important that we, if, if this week has taught me anything is that like nobody has us like we have us yeah. so i think that it's important that like we take control of the narrative um in the way that we're represented and in the way that we're talked about uh, this also helps a lot with like certain research papers that i know are going to be coming out about army and bts um mm -hmm. based on the that and based on the way that fandom and uh, participatory action is like done in this fandom so like for example like if you're wondering like just um beyond the just beyond looking at the makeup of everything and be like okay that's cool army is composed of this and this and this so one of the questions that asked on the survey is when did people become an army, right? So for example, um, in 20, based on the responses that they got in 2017, 22.26% became army in 2017. And in 2018, it was 21.43%. And those were the highest uh, percentages um, between 2013 and 2020, right? If I'm a researcher interested on like doing a paper about BTS, I can look at this quantitative like information. I can look about look at these numbers and then I can be like, hmm, what happened in 2017 and 2018 that allowed for this many people to join the fandom at this point in time? And then with this, like with these numbers, you can go back and you can add actual like stories to it, like what happened, what albums came out, what like what happened. So that's really I was like somebody who researches loves research, like yeah. it, it was so yeah. good. It, so good it's so good um yeah no it's it's i i enjoyed it i like read through the whole i was making up um paper titles making up research titles <laughs> in my head while doing this yeah. um and it's really amazing because i wrote it down so 400 more than 400,000 people uh, responded to the survey, um, 100 plus countries, and it was uh, done in like 46 languages. So, which is shout out to yeah. translators. Yeah. yeah, shout out to yeah. my peeps. Man, Army Census and everybody who participated. Like, yeah, I, I'm really excited to like continue this and like gain even more information about this fandom uh yeah. just like over time like the 2021 is going to be extremely interesting i think just like based on like what has happened through the the past like three months yeah or only three months in holy shit um <sighs> you know like it's it's so interesting and i actually wrote down a quote because i just i like based on like last week and this week i was like that this just like sums up what what we were talking about um, on top of their ability to support, uh, in support of BTS and their music, they have used influence to make a difference in the world. And if the gender identity of the people doing this is female, that should be celebrated, not ridiculed. Mic drop. Yeah. Who yeah. runs the world? Girls. Yeah. Girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I just I I I, I loved it, and like the the quote that you brought up, I because I think it was fifty point something percent. Um, am I lying? It was wait, I have it written down. I don't there, know. Why I'm, there was yes. more of the under eighteen uh, or un, under eighteen. Yeah, so it's 50.31 yeah. percent. Um, uh, are under eighteen, and my thing is instead of like saying that instead of us having this narrative that like oh like it's a bunch of young screaming teenagers how about we change the narrative to be like oh it's a bunch of first of all there's nothing wrong with being a screaming teenage girl for exactly. like if you want to get into mm -hmm. that um but, but how about we change the narrative and we're like okay it's all of these young women spreading good in the world like mm -hmm. how, how how about that how like <laughs> How about that? But also, like, when it comes to, like, a research project like this, there are, like, certain, like, limitations that you need to take into con into consideration. So, for example, um, I think it was, like, the over 60, there was, like, 602 responses. You also have to take into consideration that people over 60 are not necessarily going to be on Twitter. Yeah. And, um, which is the main platform 
platform through which all of this the survey was disseminated so um it's like if if you're a researcher then you can you can come up with certain like hypotheses you're gonna okay this is gonna be filled with a lot of younger people um who are under 18 because those who are more those are the ones who are most likely to be on social media or be on social Mm. media when we're trying to spread um this thing so but yeah overall i loved it i like went through it like so many times yeah it was so good it's so good the pie the pie charts yeah if you want if you if you want to like take a look a look at it um i think it's bts census army census.com yeah yes i'm gonna have it Um, in the in the description as well yeah the all of the links yeah if you just want to take they, they say like the top 10 countries they do a lot of like like that there's so. tons and tons of breakdowns and it's yeah yeah it's it's oh, it's really fun it's so good it's so good it's so, so i'm good. i'm so excited for, i'm excited for the research papers that are going to come out because i just too. know i just know it's yeah. gonna be so fun like i, I, I was like scrolling color. through like all the comments and stuff and there was like already got my research paper going and I was, <laughs> i'm like yes <laughs> Yes. I'm so ready. So I'm ready for all those like publications and like master's students and bachelor yeah. students. <laughs> like, come on, I'm ready. Let's yes. go. Let's go. Uh, we got a new Weverse magazine article. Sadly, I wasn't able to read it. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that? What happened? Um. Okay, I wanted to talk about the Weverse article because I think. If I can like phrase my words properly, I think that what BTS and ARMY are doing with artist and fan interactions uh, should be closer examined because I don't think it's ever been done in the way that they're doing it, right? Mm -hmm. So if you have not read the first article, so essentially like they contacted a lot of like fan fan run accounts or like fan base accounts and just like talk to them about how they were passing um the quarantine so research bts like the purple map um they were in it uh somebody men- mentioned bangtan academy which i'm a part of where we studied korean they were in it um a lot of army magazine like they were in it um i think the initiative to like reach out to people who are actually involved in army and who are like we're we're here every day and for like the artists or like the artists like publication and weavers magazine to actually like reach out to those fans to to talk to them to want to hear about and and the Y'all, the thing is, like, a lot of these fan bases who end up, t- like, having interviews with Weavers Mar- Magazine talk about how, like, nice they were, and they just wanted to, like, learn about them and, like, see what they were doing. Um, and I don't think that that's ever been done before, or or at least, you know what, let me say that. I haven't been around to see if that's been done yeah. like this or not, but this is the first time that I've seen it on, on this scale, so. For sure, yeah. Yeah. Um, I agree. Yeah. I, I I was so like when that came out because I if I follow like obviously like research BTS and Ben yeah. Academy and yeah. like I follow all of these people and so you know and I have been following them for a long time and so when they were like yeah we we're part of Weavers magazine I was so excited because yeah you know it's like you're excited for them exactly like, you, just, you just know like, I'm excited for you like I'm so happy right? for you. Uh, uh, and especially, especially yeah. like those ones, because of the fact that they, they put in like, if you've never like seen research BTS or those like purple maps, like definitely mm-hmm. check them out because I think it's, everybody's seen them. I, I, I feel hope, like you can't be on army Twitter. I, I, I feel like you so. can't be on army Twitter. <laughs> if you're not so. seeing the purple map, even if you don't follow friends. like, <laughs> Even if you don't follow Research BTS directly, yeah. somebody on your timeline has to have retweeted to. a purple map. And if they did not retweet yeah. a purple map, you need to check. We need to talk. <laughs> you need to talk. <laughs> You're on the wrong side of ARMY Twitter. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah I'm no. so happy yeah. for her because, you know, like, just the fact that she is so, like, involved in the fandom to to the point mm-hmm. where, like, 
you know, obviously she's creating these like maps of like when we mm -hmm. trend something or when something's happening and, and the importance mm -hmm. of all of those things and why we do those things. And, you know, like how long they, like all of that is so, so important to, to our fandom. Mm -hmm. And so to have not only like Weaver's magazine and for them to like reach out to these armies and be like, Hey, like, we want to talk to you. You're the fans. Like, tell us what's mm -hmm. been going on tell us the things that you're noticing and 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 why they're so important to talk about and so yeah like having both of these things this week like the army census and the article i was just like army love is just flowing <laughs> i'll be here for it yeah yeah, she is. I, I'm just very, like, interested. Listen, I'm gonna, when the papers about, when the research and scholarly articles about BTS and ARMY start to come out in 10 years, I'm gonna be like, I was there! <laughs> because yeah. I really, I really do think that, like, low-key, we're kind of revolutionizing the way that, like, artists and fandoms or fan bases interact with each other. Because, like, Big Hit is watching you. They're <laughs> If you if you didn't think that they were watching before, like I swear, they know everything that goes on in this fandom. If you did not think that they were watching before, yeah, then like they are now yeah. because they know specifically like who to like reach out to and who to talk to. Is, so like there has to I don't know if, I don't know if it's Namjoon's friend, his friend, but mm -hmm. um. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's pretty it's it's pretty amazing actually. Hundred percent. Which is why I keep saying like we we need to be the ones to control the narrative because like if we don't tell our stories, like other people are gonna come in and try to fuck it up, and that is not that is not what we want. So. No, because that's yeah. not that's not the narrative. That's the reality, which is why it's yeah. You're mm -hmm. absolutely right. Like we need to control the narrative because. Yeah. People saying shit about this fandom who don't know what they're talking about. It no, in what world? Mm. I don't think so. Yeah, not yeah. on my watch. It's, it's it's a fun read. If you haven't if you haven't um read it yet, definitely uh read it. It's it's fun. It's a light read. So yeah. yeah. I hope the weaver. I hope the weavers editors and writers are getting paid well. I mean, I'm sure that they are, but still, I'm sure. Like, no, but I, I agree. agree. <laughs> Every time an article comes out, I'm just like, you know how to do your job very well. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Um, so now it's time for me to read a whole bunch of achievements from this week. <laughs> yeah, they just kept adding, so I just kept okay. putting them in the document. <laughs> so, uh, Dynamite uh, got certified gold, platinum, and double platinum. Uh, it's the fastest music video to reach 26 million likes in 211 days, plus the first group to hit that mark. Uh, they won two Guinness World Record, most simultaneous viewer for music video premiere, 3 million views at the same time, and also the most Kid Choice Awards win by a music group. Uh, Ego, the music video, got to 100 million views. What the fish? I know. That makes 31 <laughs> music videos in total yeah. at 100 mil. And then this week we also celebrated the RM six year mi mixtape anniversary to the whole pleasure of Gabby, I'm certain. <laughs> This is how I know. This is how I know that, like, on my time, I have found my timeline. I have found my people because, first of all, there were. I also, I also have to bring up last week, Thursday. I was at work, and then while I was on my break, I was like scrolling through Twitter, and y'all were talking about my man. I don't appreciate it. Y'all were just thirsty. Yeah, it was a thirst. Y'all were just thirsting about. Next to the so you're not ready. I will not take these I will not take these attacks on my household lightly. So y'all need to not 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 to I understand that he's he's beautiful. He's I understand that. Yeah, but like Jess, not Jess is laughing right now, but apparently Jin is next. So not not too much on my man, please. Not too much. <laughs> um, but then but, if you uh, continue yeah. to go in fan chant order, I'm next after Jin. So <laughs> Um what was I going to say? Oh, the RM mixtape. Um, if, if you have not listened to 
the RM mixtape, uh, I would highly suggest yeah. that you do so. And you do so while reading the lyrics, because like I, uh, some some of y'all are just, <laughs> some of y'all are like debating whether to read BTS lyrics or not, and I'm just like very very confused. So yeah, we do we listen to it. We listen to the masterpiece. And then after you listen to RM, you can just like jump on into mono. It's a very like they're they're very contrasting um Albums, projects, but at yeah. the same, but at the same time, you can it's 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 very to it, it's concise. They're both like I don't know what I'm saying. They're they're different, but they're also you they exist on the same plane. Right. I believe because I, I was watching one of the lives, and then he was saying oh. that. He wrote as soon as he he um, finished writing RM the mixtape. He just like jumped into like start writing mono, and you can you can hear it kind of because like the last yeah. song on RM mixtape and the song on mono kind of like just listen to it back to back. You'll you'll hear what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but, yes, yeah. listen to it. It, it is so good. So um yes, big head is moving. They are. They do be moving, yeah. and apparently, a lot of armies want to become window cleaners. <laughs> I love that meme so much. I'll clean the floors. Yeah, like, I don't care. Because I'm, I'm scared of heights, but I'll I'll scrub the floors. Yeah, I'll be on my hands and knees. Make. <laughs> <laughs> volunteer to clean the gyms <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure they're gonna need like a couple of cleaners i think so i think so honestly like, i think we're more than qualified to do those things okay Abby so to give you guys the context uh big hit is rebranding and they are mm-hmm. moving buildings and they have ma- like they did a presentation to Yes. have us visit the building which Wait. by the way like that presentation first of all very well organized let mm-hmm. me just throw that out there i mean are you surprised coming from big hit no I'm not. I'm not and honestly like i've never seen like a company like corporate or otherwise do uh a uh, a presentation like that before mm-hmm. in terms of like actually allowing like the fans to sort of be a part of what their ideas were and where it's coming from and like how they sort of got to that conclusion etc cetera, etc cetera. it's extremely fascinating to me the way that they're sort of moving in that direction you know somebody said i can't remember who it was but somebody said this almost looks like um, a come work for us ad because i think they have like they have like three floors of um wardrobe and they're and they were like hmm um it seems like this is like a come work for us ad. which i'm okay with yes we yeah. are are you hiring your french translator i'm on my way i'm coming <laughs> i'm here um but yeah so the different parts of their rebranding is interesting so like the labels as a whole is changing names to hype yeah and then big hit entertainment is becoming big hit music yes so at least we're keeping the the bubbles yeah like everything (laughs) everybody was like freaking out in the comments like yeah i would i watched the live like as it happened and uh uh everybody in the comments was like what the heck is going on? I don't understand. And I'm like, guys, they're just like, they're just renaming that no, it's section. Not, it's, yeah. It's not. It's like, it's like an umbrella. So it's like, exactly. it's a Yeah. Hybe is like the everything. giant umbrella like, that incorporates. Yeah. Big Hit is reference. still here. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Yeah. yeah. Big Hit Entertainment is just Big Hit Music, which um, makes sense. They believe in music and TXT believes in pineapples. So. Mm-hmm. I want to, I'm, 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 TXT would, this, I, I like was like, oh, look at all these, look at 17 and G friend, like, look at, look at all those guys with connection. BTS believes in connection. Oh. And then Unikai is like, pineapple. Pineapple. where's, where's the pineapple? 
Where the fuck is the pineapple? And I'm like, these kids did not, did <laughs> not say pineapple on I'm, pizza. I'm looking for the, her name because I want to get her name. Um, oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Which is um, super interesting because she used to work for SM. Yeah. Um, for like I, nine I think, years, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Oh, found it. Um, she is the CBO and Minhee Jin. I hope I'm saying that correctly. If I could like read the Hangul, but like romanization fucks me up sometimes. Um, Minhee Jin. Uh, she's like the woman who's like essentially like <laughs> in charge of everything. And I just wanted to highlight her because listen, I like women. Women are better at everything. Sorry. So uh, <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to like make sure that I mention um her name. No, the presentation was very very it was how do I say this? It was transparent because they don't mind you. They don't have to tell us none of this. They no. really mm-hmm. don't um which is why I say once again like reshaping what like this culture looks like, but it was the the thing that stood out. It was very easy. It was easy to follow. There weren't any like really really big words meant to like trip you up or whatever. You can you can watch this, and I I encourage like everybody to, um, like I would even encourage like people who aren't like stands of like BTS or don't even know what the hell is going on. Like if you're interested in like business, if you're interested in design, if you're interested in a functional, if you're in- interested in any of that, just like watch the video, and I'm pretty sure you will get something out of it because it was it was very concise very well explained um and i want to go to the comb i listen listen (laughs) i need to find myself in the comb sitting and reading yes (laughs) um so uh, we'll we'll see if we ever get there it was so funny to me because i remember at, at one point um uh big hit put out um and not ad a work they put out a job posting. I don't know what I'm saying. They put out a job posting for like a librarian. Come to find out there's like three, there's like three floors, uh, three li- libraries in this yeah. building. Ima- ima- like- imagine, ima- ima- imagine you're the librarian that brought in the book that inspired BTS's next album. I would not stop. I would not stop thinking about it and, and, and we said to like I, I like we said to close the gyms and in their heads they were probably laughing at us they would be like oh okay all right <laughs> now well, we have three three, now three levels like three three levels three levels three whole levels of gym like why do you in my mind I'm like why do you need this much gym like who why do you need <laughs> Why do you with like floor to ceiling windows and stuff? So uh, I why do we there are no words for that. I like they were going through a presentation, they're like, yeah, like three levels of gym, and I was like, oh no. Um what? No. <laughs> no. <They really> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, no, it's um, it's super interesting, no. you know, like even like, from a design perspective, like, the, the Mm -hmm. office, like, workspaces, having, Mm -hmm. having those, like, I didn't even, like, think about this, but, like, the ceiling with the curved, like, lighting to, Mm -hmm. to not cast shadows, like, Mm -hmm. genius, like, honestly, like, it's, it's, like, those little small details that you, like, don't think about, but, like, if you, right, like, if you were in an office space, like, these are the things that you would want, like, Mm -hmm. of course you would, Mm -hmm yeah yeah it's also very like telling because it's very like focused on like artists like comfort for like artists and stuff so with that oh okay yes i like that and also people people i saw like well not the people on my timeline people from other timelines were upset because we were saying that bts built this on their backs what do you want me to say what do you what do you, I, I shared this Drake meme and it was the meme of Drake saying, you see all of this? This wasn't here before us. We did this. It was like in the caption was like BTS with the with the H with the new building. Um 
they did they they built the, they built it on their backs like i would yeah. somebody somebody sent out a tweet and they were like if i was like bts i wouldn't stop talking about this and then they were like um if you're trying to use the coffee maker and then j-hope just comes out you know um my verse in second grade paper <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was a verse in second grade that paid for that coffee machine that you're <laughs> Um, you, you see the windows? It was outro tier that did that one. <laughs> that one right there. That was outro tier, just so you know. <laughs> it's just really, really funny. But, um, I, yeah, I don't yeah, know what to say to that because yeah. it's fast. It's true. <laughs> but yeah. it is what it is. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. The only thing I demand as a fan mm-hmm. is that. Mm-hmm. That Jimin photo better be like in the lobby. Yes. Front I mean, and center. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the funniest thing is, right? Army, like, I can't deal with y'all, especially the ones on like the ones that I follow, right? Somebody tweeted a picture of like the uh, the um the space with like the big blue couch, right? Somebody was like, "Thank God, because the feng shui in that room was all messed up. No interior design." <laughs> and then I looked at the photo of the room and I was like, "Yeah,", yeah. I'm like, "Yeah," because there's like the big blue couch and then there's this like circle like um cream and brown rug and then there's this round table. I was I was looking at the room and I'm like oh my gosh this room always it's a mess so. it, was just, it was like I was like oh my gosh so it was like yeah yeah I'm like well uh, you can't have it all okay like yeah. you need to like but no, it was it was funny, and all of the gym tweets were hilarious. Yeah, so freaking funny, so funny. All of them. Oh, <laughs> all of them. So great, so great. I'm so here for it. Yeah. Maybe you both like it. It looks like a bill. It's it's, and I think like all of the labels like have their own floor or something. Yes, um, I think so. Yeah, from what I was reading, or if I can remember that properly, but. Yeah, it's it's very innovative. If if you if you haven't seen the video, it's I think it's like forty minutes or something. And but yeah. there's also like it's like cut up into pieces. I believe it is. Yeah, like. big head labels like cut them, uh, cut them up. So, yeah, yeah. And, and buying PD's like emoji that's stuck with him forever. Yep. <laughs> I mean, it was in Yoongi's music video, so <laughs> the amount of people who were like, "Guys, did you see this?" <laughs> It stuck with him forever. <laughs> JK made it made it for him. So. I I'm yep. I, I, I I love I love that. It's it's yeah, the he, details that freaking kill just me. Just like, oh, this is this is me now. <laughs> yeah, this is me forever. I can't yes. get away from it. It's never dying. Um, yep. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> that was a high building. <laughs> Are we ready to move on to artist shadow? I think so. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Who wants to go first? Does not matter. I mean, I can go. Go. Uh, mine, mine is in BTS related this week. My artist this week is Rome Inc. Uh, they make like really, really pretty stickers like Ooh. really pretty stickers of I love stickers a lot of different things so I uh, they're like really high quality too so I recommend you check them out that's awesome I love stickers Who I don't know. love a good sticker yeah right I feel like I have so many of them but I'm also like where do I put them yeah <laughs> <laughs> I think okay. I'll go next. So my um artist, I've been finding a lot of artists on Twitter lately. Um she is on on Twitter and she also has an Etsy link and it's the at is with with love Tay and the person's name is Anna. 
it's so let me pull it up i clicked the link when i was like going mm -hmm. through and oh my god oh my god <laughs> oh my god <laughs> like it's just so it's it's i saw like the the first thing that i saw was of the jk one it's just i don't i i i say all about it i'm very very amazed at people who are able to to do things like this so yeah if you just 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 go check them out it's it's you all it's a fun time <laughs> yes i oh oh it's beautiful it's, it's so really good. beautiful it's so good yeah, yeah. Uh, my artist this week is, uh, Sun Pei brand. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. If I'm not, I'm really sorry. Um, I found that I actually, it might have been coming from Instagram lately. I don't know. I don't know what that is about, but, uh, she does a bunch of like clothing, uh, designs and she also has like some makeup on her website as well. I recently, I recently put it in purchase, uh, cause there was this oversized zero o'clock inspired bomber jacket, uh, mm. because my brother stole my other bomber jacket. So, um, I needed, what are you doing? I needed to replace it. <laughs> um, it's, it's honestly like, it's so cool and aesthetic and it's definitely like my style. Uh, and she has mm. just like a bunch of like, cool inspired stuff from their album like the, the she has like an entire mono collection that's like honestly so beautiful and like a winter bear collection that's so pretty like she has like this long like trench coat inspired by like winter bear it's amazing it's amazing i'm totally here for it and she's coming out with uh more anime stuff <laughs> attack on titan um Listen, just yes. throw it out there. If I had to rely on you, I'd be broke. <laughs> Bex. <laughs> I'm I'm like listen. the worst supportive listen. friend. <laughs> listen, listen. Hmm. 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 I would be broke. Like, if there would be if nothing only I could actually rock that kind of thing. <laughs> if only. I I I, I shall. I'm, uh... I'm just I'm... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I got all right is it meme time you guys it might be I think it's meme time meme time da, 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 da. okay wait I saw this meme the other day it's not BTS related but it's definitely us related <laughs> us related <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna send it <laughs> I saw it and I was like, oh, that hurts, but also true. Why is it me, but though? <laughs> That's what I'm saying! <laughs> My thing went ahead. Oh, this is one of the memes I saw. Gosh. <laughs> 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 it's true, if that isn't front center i'm gonna be mad <laughs> i saw that one too and i died i'm just like oh my goodness um okay, this this one isn't so much of a meme but <laughs> i've been like dying every time that that i see this if my phone would cooperate with me <laughs> maybe this is amazing this is the least fail i've i've looked the whole podcast <laughs> Perfect. Well, now I know. Meme segment. Okay. It's like this. Okay. Listen, I I follow a lot of like army attack on Titan fans, <laughs> and they were having a ball. They're did having such know? a good time. Do you edit? Do you, yes. Do you see like the whole? I'm like, J oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> honestly i was like crying laughing it was it's, oh, it's so good it's so so good it, it's, oh. a lot. It, it, it's a lot <laughs> and i'm just oh. like dying no. oh, it's so good no. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, this happens to me literally all the time. I'll yeah. like pop on a like uh like TikTok or Twitter and it'll be like Yeet. um refresh no <laughs> no <laughs> or the worst thing on Twitter is like when your tweet just disappears in front of you. I'm just like oh, I was scrolling. I don't know why that happens. When I first when I first got on Twitter, I thought it was me. Yeah. And I'm just like <laughs> I think I think Jan, I think Jan would be able to relate to this next one. Oh, I'm so ready. <laughs> Wait, let me see. If on. my phone would work. <laughs> okay. Oh. Let's let's see. I'm scared. Hmm. It's 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 really not that bad. <laughs> I thought. Oh. If you're the tallest amongst us, it's gotta be you. <laughs> it is actually me, though. <laughs> it, it is actually me. What is it? Tanya's just, Tanya's just there on the escalator. <laughs> oh my goodness. This, this one is literally is my be- friends, too, though. Like, legitimately. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> no. Oh oh, that was so cute. <laughs> Testing one two. One two. two. One, two. One, two. <laughs> this is this has been army Twitter this week, honestly. Like the whole yes. the whole week. I just I think the about whole, whole, the whole week. <laughs> I mean, same baby girl, same. Same. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh wait, this well this one is it. Hmm. Is this a meme? I don't think this is a meme, but it's very funny. Because it's also. Playfair? Discard. Uh... Oh. This one is COVID related, but accurate. Okay, I saw this on Twitter. The sad part about this is I read the comments, and everybody was like, wait, what does BC mean? <laughs> Like the oh, promise, God. and I was like, "Y'all, what? we we need to go to school. What's the matter with you?" I told you, online school just ain't doing it no more. Oh God! Yeah, the yes, I saw that one. Listen, <laughs> I was like, <laughs> "Oh, oh." Okay, this no. is good. this is gonna be my last one. It's so. What are you saying? Oh my god. Why do I why do I feel like this is a conversation that they would have? This is, it probably is. this is like probably a conversation. Why would you take off your would... legs? I don't like, understand. I'm, I'm, no, it makes no sense. Does anyone have one last meme they want to send before we move on to song of the week? Mm. (laughs) Okay, I forgot that I had this one. Oh, I'm ready. Um, Oh, no. You better not attack me like last week. (laughs) It's very very risky. It's not even risky. It's like... I just sent a meme of (laughs) taking off pants, okay? Uh, this one might be worse. Um, I don't know how YouTube works, but like Jess might have to like censor it. I'm scared now. <laughs> my phone would work. It's really not that bad. I'm making it worse than what it is. It's, if my You're phone hyping works. it up. <laughs> okay, I think it's. See, I should have done. I, I shouldn't have hyped it up. Okay, it is this one. <laughs> Yeah, you're definitely going to have to censor it up, but it's accurate. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. That, that's what the week was, though. That's what it was. Facts. Facts. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly what it was. <laughs> I, and on that note, we're moving on to songs <laughs> of the week. <laughs> Oh my gosh, no, no. 
Yes. Yeah. This is a huge. Um... Oh, I'm happy with your BTS yeah. song, Gabby. I almost chose it. Oh, okay. Um, She's a cute one. Who wants to go first? She did. I matter. would like to go last if that's okay with you guys. Yes. Okay, I'll go first. So my BTS song of the week is Home. Um, Home is one of the best songs off of Map of the Soul Persona. Fight me. Fight. I, every time I say you. something. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I love that song. Yeah, Home is, dare, dare I say, one of the best in their discography, but we're not going to get into that conversation day um yeah every it's it's hmm. i don't i don't know what it is but every time i listen to it it feels kind of like nostalgic almost mm -hmm. like a throwback like it wasn't released like in 2019 like this the song was released a couple of years ago yeah um and it just makes me feel it, it makes me feel it's just so like it makes me feel like homely when i listen yeah. to it i don't yeah, know yeah. no 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 totally. Oh, it, yeah, totally it hits the mark it hits it hits that perfect yeah. like spot i literally on friday my friend uh was like hey i since we were having a bad week it's my like coworker that i work with and she was like do you want to go for a drive and i'm like yes mm -hmm. yes i do <laughs> and uh we went to go we went like get Starbucks and then we went like through Cochrane so we went towards mm -hmm. like Banff and then went around and mm -hmm. uh I was like oh we didn't finish the playlist uh my like road trip mm -hmm. playlist last time yeah so I turned that on and like home came on and we were like heading towards the mountains and I was just like yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> she was like jamming out to it and I was jamming out to it and it was just it's perfect good job good job <laughs> oh okay i forgot like i was listening to you talk and then i just <laughs> i interrupted um, no, no 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 you're fine um uh, and my non vts song is me myself and i by beyonce this song was released years ago and it still sounds fresh it still sounds like it it's it's just everything if you have not heard me myself and i by beyonce listen to me myself and i by Beyonce. It's weird because she does, there's like a studio version, obviously, but I prefer the live version because Ooh. she just does the live version. It's, it's like immaculate. Like the composition and the arrangement on the live version is really, really good. So, it's just yes. <laughs> Queen, Queen Bay over there. <laughs> uh, my BTS song this week <laughs> is uh, We Are Bulletproof the Eternal. I mean, it's been that kind of a week. Um, but mm -hmm. I gotta say, like, I think it's the perfect song for this week, to be honest, because it really just encapsulates, like, we, we are together, we have each other. And that's, like, the most important thing during these times is that we have those things. And uh, ARMY and BTS will always be bulletproof always always yeah. always and forever and i think that that's a point that always needs to be said um so that's why it's my song for this week <clears throat> my uh, non bts song <laughs> is uh by birdie and it's called wild horses um i also really like the remix version that she did i don't know i can't remember who she did it with but um it's more like uh, electro sort of pop is the remix but the original version um i don't know what it is with birdie but like she just like hits you right in the feels <laughs> mm -hmm. and it just it just hurts sometimes you know <laughs> mm -hmm. but i i love this song and it's it's interesting the music video is is very interesting to be honest it's like her name is birdie she's talking about wild horses but the music videos has mermaids in it mm yeah it's very confusing but why not i'm here for it <laughs> um so um this week is a little bit hard for me you guys obviously know uh, uh my bts song this week is save me uh i've just been listening to it a lot um and my non-BTS song is, um, I'm actually dedicating this to my, to my grandma who passed away uh, a couple of days ago. 
Uh, it is This Is Not Goodbye by the Sidewalk Prophets. Um, it's a very it's a very beautiful song about obviously losing a loved one, but um, it it just you're losing them, but they're not too far, and it's all about like meeting again someday. Um, but, yeah, but yeah, so uh, I'm dedicating it to my to my grandma. Uh, I I've been very lucky to have had all four of my grandparents up until now um obviously it doesn't make it easier um but I also want to say thank you to everyone that's been here for me through this especially you two um love you. I love you guys <laughs> um <but> yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. um that's that's why I've been a little bit more quiet this this recording so I'm I'm gonna be okay. Don't worry about me. Uh, you're allowed to worry. Like I'm not gonna say like no, <laughs> but uh, I'm eventually gonna be fine. It'll just take some time. Yeah. Um. Hi, editing Jess here again. We forgot to film the winner of our YouTube giveaway during the recording of our podcast. Whoops. So Jan and I recorded ourselves picking the winner. Let's go. This is the YouTube winner. It is breaking the ice on Twitter. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations. Congrats to you, breaking the ice. Thank you so much to everyone who entered. It was a blast reading your comments. And stay tuned because we will for sure do more giveaways. Anyway, back to the podcast. On that note, uh, this is it for this week's podcast. <laughs> um, sorry for ending it this way. Um, <laughs> but uh i'm trying not to cry uh <laughs> as usual we have a new podcast coming out every thursday uh and we have the clip coming out every sunday as well at 3 p.m est uh we are everywhere uh at army think tank except facebook that still hasn't changed <laughs> don't think that's going to change anytime soon <laughs> um, we're also everywhere you can listen to your podcast on the go uh, so if you do, don't want to see our faces that's fine you can just listen to our voices <laughs> uh, don't forget to send us memes and uh, as usual don't forget to also like comment subscribe and ring the bell to know exactly when we post so hopefully mm -hmm. this week is a better one than the last Mm -hmm. And uh, I love all the all of you guys. Love you Have guys. a good week. Have a good week, guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, and, oh, and happy birthday to Yuji Itadori. That is my boyfriend from Jujutsu Kaisen. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday. I, I, happy birthday. I mean, <laughs> his birthday was, yes, was on Saturday. This comes out on Thursday. His birthday was last Saturday. He He's my man. Um, no, I will not be taking questions. And all you hoes can back off. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys.